Hey guys, my name is Ryan Central and we have another advert video today. In this video, we're going to be talking about some stuff that the development team, specifically uh, Ben Irving, who is the lead producer now on Anthem, and Chad, the head of live service, what they have to say about the 90 day calendar, some changes, of course, some delays that were going to happen. But they also talk about the cataclysm, loot, their communication. I just generally go over the state of the game currently. I also did want to add some bits and pieces as well from the live stream that happened tonight too. But to be honest, there wasn't an awful lot there that wasn't said in this patch. But I guess finally, I did want to go over some stuff that was data mined, including new abilities and new armor sets. But I feel that this update and response from Bioware is the most important, so we're going to highlight that first. As I said, this came from Ben Irving and Chad Robertson, and this is generally how it boils down. I'll try and blast for it as quick as possible, then also give it my thoughts. Hey everyone, it's been 10 weeks since the early access release of Anthem. We've been quite publicly, we've been hard at work in the background and wanted to provide an update on the state of the game. The past 10 weeks, we have learned a lot since the game went live. We've heard a lot of feedback from all of you and we've been working diligently to improve as many things as we can in the short term. We fixed a lot of bugs and made changes which we believe begin to point us in the right direction for the future. That being said, we know there is a long way to go before Anthem becomes the game we all want it to be. So where are we at today? He then goes over the patch that came out earlier with the sunken cell stronghold, access to the forge anywhere in the world, and also highlights that there was a live stream later today, which we'll also go over with some of the stuff in the background. But going over the Act 1 calendar, he says, While we have delivered many of the Act 1 features on time, we are not going to hit all of the goals on our Act 1 calendar. We have been prioritising things like bug fixes, stability and game flow over the new features of Act 1. We set aside time for this work, but the reality is there are more things to fix and improve than we planned for. While this is the best thing to do for the game, it means some items from the calendar will be delayed. The things that will be delayed will be the mastery system, guilds, legendary missions phase 2, weekly stronghold challenges, leaderboards, free play events and also the cataclysm. We want to make sure everything we add to the game has a purpose and fits our long term goals. When we have information to share on the items above, we will do so. He then goes on to say about the cataclysm. It's an important addition to the game and it's currently a big focus for the team. The Cataclysm will bring new challenges and rewards and push the story of Anthem forward. As our work continues, we will share more with you in May. On loot, we have heard your concerns around endgame loot. We agree that our loot and progression system needs to be improved and we are working towards this. When we have more information to share, we will. And finally, communication. A lesson we have learned is we have been talking about things too early. There are so many factors that can cause us to pivot on our plans, whether it's bugs and stability issues, player feedback, or complications with a feature that requires us to take more time to deliver it. Our goal is to tell you about new content and features once the work is closer to being done. At the same time, we want to provide more ways to get your feedback and for you to tell us what you think is fun or not fun. To facilitate this, we plan to introduce a player feedback environment, which is basically a PTR, an opportunity to get your feedback before we go live with major features. Finally, he says, we know you have been waiting for these updates and you might not be pleased with where we are today. We understand and respect these perspectives. The only thing that we can say is this. We believe in Anthem. We believe the game will be great, but we recognize getting there will take a lot of hard work. We want to do that work and we want you all to join us on the journey to get there. Thanks for taking the time to read this update. There's a lot of key stuff in this post and the Reddit comments, as you can imagine, are pretty much schizophrenic. There's a lot of stuff that people are saying is good and there's a lot of people saying that that's it, that's the end of the game. Honestly, for those that have quit and have no intention of returning, I don't know why they're still on Reddit other than to complain, but I guess it says a lot. Comments such as, you know, with Bioware saying when we have more information, we will. And somebody saying, how about you just share what you got so far? It kind of just misses the point, like it misses the complete tone. I have nothing against those that really hate the state of the game. I am certainly frustrated and not playing the game an awful lot. But this is just the sad reality of Anthem currently. Especially somebody that covered the game before the launch and is left with this. It's left me in a really, like, depressed state, to be brutally honest that all of this has amounted to nothing, but I'm more curious than anything to see how Bioware intends to turn this around. Anthem is a lot of things, but it certainly isn't 
boring when it comes to the news coming out about it, that's for sure. I think the main thing is the PTR really, or PFE, whatever they intend to call it. Yeah, player feedback environment. Um, this is a great way to test out new content, but be more accepting of some of the bugs that they've run into. And it sort of saves that whole period of Bioware releasing a patch, and then everybody turning around and saying there's all of these bugs. And then Bioware now have to fix all of the bugs instead of focusing on new content. It just makes that whole rotation a lot cleaner for everyone involved. And they kind of expect to play content early. They're going to run into bugs, which they can try and fix before the patch goes live. You know what I mean? Like typical normal games. So I'm glad that Anthem now has that lined up. And I hope that comes out sooner rather than later. I could see the stuff being delayed a mile away, the Cataclysm of course being one of the main ones. I agree with Bioware, they need to get that right if they rush out the Cataclysm and it sucks, that's it. That's just going to be it for a lot of players, myself included. So I am going to be interested what this is going to be. Not to mention that we do have EA Play uh, happening in June, which is basically the E3 for EA and Bioware, especially. West of Flight Sims is going to be there, FIFA 20, Madden, all that kind of stuff. So Bioware will be showing off stuff for Anthem. I know this because I've been invited to this event, so I'll be going to LA to try out whatever they have to show. Honestly, don't know much about it, and even if I did, I probably couldn't say. But my my guess would be that Cataclysms will be delayed another month and we'll be able to play it for EA Play and then it will be released shortly afterwards. That would be my guess, but who really knows at this point? Loot is going to get a complete overhaul. I've said this time and time again, and I think this is something that we will see moderately soon, within the next couple of months or so, but realistically, it's the whole system being changed. So no doubt Bioware are going to be tight-lipped on that. That's kind of my impression. But I do agree to an extent that they have been talking about things too early. As somebody that covered the game before the actual launch of Anthem, there was a lot of aspirational talk, I suppose, on what the game could be and how it could work. And a lot of the PR was spun in a way that made it seem like it was complete. And the beautiful thing about Anthem is that the possibilities are endless with what they can do with it. With like Division 3 or Destiny 3, you can generally kind of get the idea of what the game's going to be like. But for Anthem in the future, it really could evolve into something great. And over time, I'm sure it will do. It's just whether the play base stays there. But my point is that because the sky is limitless, when you are given the opportunity to imagine what a cataclysm would be, what I would imagine for a cataclysm would be very different to you, but most importantly, what we imagine for a cataclysm will probably be completely different from what a cataclysm actually is. Does that make sense? And that's applicable to so much of the game. So the game has been massively disappointed just because it hasn't hit our high expectations that Bioware set initially with some of the trailers beforehand. And that's kind of the really sad thing about it. But now I kind of wanted to talk about some of the stuff on the live stream, some key quotes, I suppose. But generally, I like this post. I like this post more than the patch today. It doesn't give us any more new information. It doesn't give us a band-aid fix to much at all. Lots of people want refunds. I get it. But I am certainly interested and intrigued to see what Bioware do now. They're backed into a corner. Let's see how they get out. As I said, the live stream was just a focus basically only on the... Stronghold, it had some of the level designers and producers on there to talk about it, so generally we didn't learn anything that we didn't learn from that post. But the one thing I did want to go over was some new discoveries that were data mined. I spoke about this briefly earlier. Giovanno and the rest of Anthem Archive did find a few things in his recent patch, such as the Cataclysm is technically in the game, codenamed Nexus Storm. The new abilities that were in there are still not in there, the new weapons which we spoke about, which had Dominion focused by the way, are not in the game just yet. But there are some new Masterworks support gear pieces which include Berserker's Cry, which is an upgraded battle cry. For the Colossus, which increases melee damage by a certain percent and reduces melee cooldown, so it just makes you, you know, spam the ground a lot faster. Vanguard's Rampant is an upgraded bulwark point for the Ranger, additionally provides a percentage more charge of heavy ability. Not quite sure what that means. It could be either one of the abilities for the Ranger, but basically get another charge to which I think is actually really good. I want more abilities like this that you can really use. And finally, Howling Veil, vale, upgraded Windwall for the Storm. Upon expiry, detonates additional explosions that hit the target in front, which just sounds really fun. To be honest, that sounds really great. But also, we got some new armor pieces, which we did use in the thumbnail. 
This is the first one that looks a bit like the Interceptor Shrike skin, I think it was. Um, a bit more of a look there, so no doubt that's for the Interceptor with how it's labelled out. We then have this one that looks like the robot from Rogue One, which of course is the Storm as it has the seals on the side of his arm. And then finally, I think this is a Ranger one, uh, which looks... I don't know what it looks like. It's just a bit weird, but, you know, more... My armor sets in the game is certainly something to look forward to, uh, but that's the new stuff that's been data mined that you can expect these skins to be in the store fairly soon. But we highlighted the new abilities and just everything else that we've gone over. Uh, it's not the best situation that Anthem's in, I'll be honest, but you know, like I am curious to see where this goes now. Um, I am just focusing on Anthem at the moment, I want to do other stuff, that was always the plan anyway, but being able to balance Anthem's rise from the ashes with any luck, whilst also going over Borderlands 3 stuff, should be a good amount of fun. I'm looking forward to it. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, I enjoyed making this video, I do enjoy talking about Anthem, and I do still like the game, but I'd love to see like more for it, I suppose. But thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.